I have, I haven't spent a lot this month, um, all in all about £30 total, but I have got an awful lot of games for <laughs> what I paid. Um, there was a couple of eBay deals and a couple of deals off a Facebook group, um, the one Facebook group deal that I did I think is personally fantastic, so I'm going to leave that one to the end. So um, this could be a long video guys, because um, there is an awful lot to show, so um, I'll get straight into it. First off, uh, on the NES, it was a game I never had as a child, but a friend of mine had, and it always looked fun to play. Um, a bit disappointed with the label on this, because it said it was in perfect condition, but there's a little bit of lifting on the top. Which, for what I paid, it's not bad, but it's just like, I wish I wish that just do stuff as described. It, was, it did come with the manual, so can't really grumble too much. And I got myself a copy of... Bart Simpson versus the Space Mutants. Um, now, having played this, it's not as good as I remember, but it is still a fun little platformer, so happy to have it in the collection. Next up off eBay was a game I've been wanting for a while. Um, I did preferably want it in the box with the manuals, but just to tide me over until I can properly concentrate on my Sega collection next year, I just picked up a cart only um, and I paid sort of like two quid bit, two quid posted I believe, it was like a last minute bid on eBay, it might have been £5 actually in total, um, anyway, I picked myself up a copy of Mega Games 2, with three of possibly the best games from my youth, Revenge of Shinobi, Streets of Rage and Golden Axe, now I love this and I've been playing this to death since I've um, picked this up, uh, it's not left my Mega Drive other than to show it to you guys right now. Um, I will be getting this box complete, <coughs> but for the price I paid, happy to have it in my collection, and it goes really well, and it brings back so many memories of, this was the, my go-to cartridge growing up when I got back home from school, this is the game that I lived on, Streets of Rage is still my favourite side scrolling beat em up to this day. Next up, <coughs> um, some of you guys may or may not know, I do actually want to collect a full PAL um, Sega Master System collection. Um, I've kind of laid off buying Sega Master System stuff recently um, just because I've been picking up other bits and pieces but um, I found a listing on eBay that was listed wrong. Um, he adapted these listed as Mega Drive games so they wouldn't have showed up on anybody searching for Master System and I don't know why they wasn't picked up beforehand so for the grand total of £4 I picked up all three of these boxed and complete. Now that was Disney's Lion King, and as you can see, absolutely fantastic condition, and again, complete. Now the soundtrack to this is brilliant, 8-bit theme music, you can tell it's from the Disney films, it's a brilliant game. Picked up Rescue Mission, now I haven't actually played this yet, because I'm haven't. i waiting for my zapper to come through, um, well I say I'm waiting for a zapper, I need to order a zapper for my last system, as soon as I do I'm going to get a lot of fun out of this. Um, I seem to remember having this as a kid with the light gun and I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I also picked up a copy of Operation Wolf. Now that was all in one, one deal and it was I think it was £4 total. Again, they're all box complete and they are in absolutely fantastic condition. Um, so I'm really happy to add those to the Sega Master System collection and it's three more towards a full set now. So I've still got a very, very long way to go um, because I do want them boxing complete. I know there's a few titles out there which will cost an awful lot of money um, but I do think it's doable so that's the mass system pickups for this month now the first Facebook deal I did um, was for some PlayStation 1 games I just realised there's still a sticker on this one um, one of which I'd never played which kind of may shock a few things it kind of shocked me that I hadn't played it um, but for £8 I picked up a copy of Die Hard Trilogy. Now I love this. This was, again, 
when I moved on to the PlayStation 1, this was the game I put many, many hours into, and to this day, it's still a good game. The Die Hard 2 Die Harder, I desperately want to get a G-Con gun for to play it with that, because as a child I never had a G, uh, the G-Con gun, so I've never played it with a light gun, but I think it will be mint. So, Die Hard Trilogy. Um, I picked up, it was solely because it was, it's a game I've been after, and because it was in the deal, it was a disc only and back only of Resident Evil Nemesis. Now I put this case on, and it's a really poor case, but I kind of got it solely because it was eight pound, and the bloke, the guy I got it off said eight pound for the three. And I just and he's but and he was honest. He said it didn't come with a front cover and a booklet, and the case was knackered. But I just thought. The £8 posted for the three, I can't grumble because I, I did want this game and it does go for a, a fair bit on eBay. So it, well, not a fat lot, but more than I want to spend at the minute. I will wait till I get a last second bid on it like I've done this. But the game that I haven't played, which surprised me because I've got such a big love for the Resident Evil series. Um, and this is box complete, it even comes with the um, card to register it. And that's the first Dino Crisis. Never played this, and I still haven't. I haven't put it in my PlayStation yet. I've tested it works, so but obviously, but I've been playing so much of the Mega Games One and Die Hard Trilogy. I haven't really had time to to go through those. So yeah, so that was our Facebook for for eight pound. Now we're on to the last lot now, guys. But this is the biggest one um, from the same guy that I got the three PlayStation One games from. Uh, <coughs> he also had a job lot of PlayStation 2 games. Now I went through them, and there was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten that I was interested in. But the others I haven't got. I've got a couple of them which will go, uh, which I'll move on through eBay, which I won't get a lot for, but it will add towards, or I might try and take them in six, but I don't know what CEX give for. Um, Trading on PS2, I wouldn't imagine it's a lot, so I might just try and eBay them because I've got a couple of the titles. But I have got a mass load of PS2 games. Now I'll show you first the ones that came just came with the bundle, um, the ones that I weren't in, not that I weren't interested in. It's just that the second pile I'll show you is the ones that I really bought the bundle for. So. I got a copy of Tetris Worlds, and that's complete. Um, Tetris is a good game, um, but it's not one that's been on my radar for the PS2. I'll, I've got it for the Game Boy, so, um, and I think that's the best version of it. I've never played it on the NES, though, so I can't really say that. But so Tetris Worlds. This is a game I've already got, um, and that's Tony Hawk's Underground. If any of you guys want anything, I mean that I haven't got like Tony Hawk's Underground. I have, I got so. If you want it, I don't want a lot for it. <laughs> it's just, it came with the deal. So Tony Hawk's Underground, another one that I've got, um, but I've actually got a black label. Um, the Getaway, really bad control system on this, but again, that will go on eBay. Um, I did have this as a child, forgot it even existed, but again, it wasn't on my radar, but it was in the pile, and that's Robot Wars, Arenas of Destruction. Really, actually, quite a fun little game to play. Um, I seem to remember growing up. I uh, haven't played it yet, but yeah, Robot Wars. This, um, I'm not really a big fan of sports titles. I do play, I have played FIFA in the past, obviously. But this next game um, really surprised me. I've actually played this quite a bit solely for its um, career mode because it's really weird and it kind of works. That's um, Virtual Pro Football, uh, made by Sega. So. Um, the pro mode, the career mode is really good, you, you sort of create a character and you have to build him not only on the football pitch but through life, it's quite weird, I've actually done about three seasons on it, but it's quite good fun. Um, a game I've never played, next, Dirt Track Devils, um, just looks like you bike standard at off-road racing in a tournament, looks quite good fun, a game complete, uh, THQ release of Spongebob, Squarepants, Creatures from the Krusty Cap. Um, just looks like a box. I've not played this yet, um, but again, it comes with the registration card and it's complete. So, so some of the boxes are these on this pack. Of, this pickup were, were a bit battered, but a majority of them were 
perfect. So really happy to have that to the collection. Uh, the next one, simple quiz game. Uh, it's just support the buzz buzzers apparently, and that's who wants to be a millionaire. Again, ten a penny, but it came in with the uh, with the deal. So really, really happy to have that. Again, it's complete. Uh, next one, Star Wars Starfighter. Um, not really a big fan of these type of games. Um, I do like Star Wars, but I really struggled to find, since Rogue Squadron on the GameCube, um, I've really struggled to find a Star Wars game that I've wanted to play. So, Star Wars Starfighter. Um, another sports title to a degree. Um, it's quite a fun, kind of clunky on controls, but Virtual Pro Boxers. Uh, again, Victorious Boxers, sorry. Virtual Pro Boxers. Victorious Boxers. Uh, quite a good fun game. Very basic, uh, kind of. You don't really have to defend doesn't really matter. Uh, half decent racing game, um, made by Atari, V Rally 3. Good fun, um, enjoy playing this. Again, it's complete, it's got everything you need. What's that actually? Ooh. Stuntman poster. <laughs> Did not notice that. So yeah, that's free. Oh, and the uh, just the kit in there, just the. So yeah, another complete copy. Uh, a game that I did have growing up, um, and it kind of it's, it just reminds me of my youth, really. Legends of Wrestling. I mean, who doesn't like Hulk Hogan? He was my hero growing up. Um, but yeah, so wrestling games, a wrestling game, isn't it? Uh, I do think since THQ took over, uh, when THQ took over the. WWE series, it got really good again. Um, probably going to get WWE 15, but not to the, not on release date. I'll wait till it goes down in price. And the other one I got was Wallace and Gromit's Curse of the Were Rabbit, which just looks like a, a bug standard platformer to a degree, action comedy adventure it says. Um, but those were the games that were in the deal that I that I didn't weren't really in, or were interested in, but it wasn't what I picked the deal up for. These next lot are what I got this package for. Um, simply because I'm a fan of the franchise, rightly or wrongly, I got Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Again, complete. All these are complete, guys. Harry Potter's Quidditch World Cup. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. I also picked up another copy because I needed the manual. So this one, now without a manual, because I've put it in the one I've already got. Metal Gear Solid uh, 2, Sons of Liberty. So, I will be sticking that on eBay without the manual. A game I've never played, but I've heard it's really good, and I've seen some reviews on it, and it looks really good fun. And that's um, Primal. So, I've never played this, but it does look like my type of game, to be honest with you. So, really looking forward to putting this in. Headhunter to Redemption. I had this growing up, and I love this game to bits. I did beat this when I very first got it on my original PlayStation 2. I intend to do it again. A classic beat em up. Me and a friend of mine had hours and hours of fun upon this growing up. Um, Soul Calibur 2. Brilliant, brilliant game. So much fun. Um, couldn't believe it was in there for the price that I got this package for. Again, box and complete. Brilliant addition to the collection. Big fan of the series. Um, this is the bundle pack edition, which doesn't bother me too much. I will look for a proper copy of it, or and maybe even. But I don't know what what came with this double pack. So if anybody can help me out, that'd be great because I'd quite like to make the double pack up. And that's Grand Theft Auto 3. Doesn't come with the map, but I'm not sure if the double pack did. Um, again, if anybody can help me out with that. But happy to have the game because it was the very first Grand Theft Auto I played. And um, never played the original PlayStation 1 and 2 ones until later on in life. But this was the one that got me on the series, Grand Theft Auto 3, and then obviously the spin-off stories, Vice City stories, that sort of thing, was my was what I played a lot of on the PS2. So, happy to have that. Now these next two, were one of the main reasons why this deal piqued my interest. Um, fantastic games, uh, from, a fan, from my favourite gaming series of all time, uh, the Resident Evil series, and I've got myself a copy of Outbreak File 2. Uh, never played any of the Outbreak ones because it was kind of I got I switched over to Xbox um, for Xbox Live growing up. Uh, 
and I think this came out after I'd switched. Um, so I never played this, so I'm quite looking forward to doing this. At the minute, I'm currently running through the series in order, so I've just done one. Um, I'm on to Resident Evil 2 now, then I'll go on to Nemesis. But the crowning glory in this whole package, which was completely unexpected from the guy, um, he actually threw in this one in free for me because I just expressed an interest, but he thought it was sold. So he threw it in for free because I bought so much stuff off him. And that is, guys, a copy of Resident Evil 4, and it's the Steel Tin Edition. I'm really, really pleased to have this. And it comes with all of the inserts that you could ever need. Um, I'm not sure. I've got the official limited edition mini guide. So it's all complete. Everything's in there. Um, really, really good condition. And it's just... It's brilliant. It, I'm really happy. Really, really happy to have that. So, in all, off the guide, I got two... 23 PS2 games, of which I needed a majority of them, of the three I've showed you, and I was interested in at least 10 of them. I paid £20 postage. Now, that works out to 90 pence per game posted. I can't even buy that from my local cash converters, where the battered, the discs don't work, and everything's rubbish. Even if I went to my local game store now, which has still got the 3 for 2 on the PlayStation 2 games. I couldn't get that deal because half the games I now need off that one aren't the pound ones anymore. So, I'm really happy with 90p a game posted. And it came in a PlayStation 1 box. He'd loaded a PlayStation 1 box full of them. So, I've technically now got a boxed PlayStation 1. Because I didn't have a box for the PlayStation 1 that I got because it came off eBay when I was for my 30th birthday. So... Yeah, it kind of helped me out there. So, um, the group I got them off on there was Entertainment Exchange UK on Facebook. Give them a search out because there is fantastic deals posted daily, to be fair. It's cost me a fortune, but hey, -ho, it's only money, isn't it, at the end of the day? That's it for pickups for this month, guys. Now, I know this video is a bit long, so I will keep it short. For, I, won't, I won't keep you much longer. Uh, what I am going to say is that's probably going to be my last pickup video of 2014 until Christmas. Um, I have got. I have worked out a deal with an, a fellow YouTuber for a a decent pack, of, a decent console set. Um, but I've decided that that's the wife's going to buy me that for Christmas, basically. So I won't be sharing that until Christmas. Um, and I will be doing a Christmas version of the pickups at some point in December. But there will be no pickups at the beginning of the end of November, beginning of December, because I've basically got to get the rest of the Christmas shopping done, and I won't be spending any more money on games other than this one pickup that I'm getting which is going to be for Christmas. So I'm going to leave it there now guys, uh, so thanks and bye.